Alright. Let's move out. We have our plan of attack. I can't be using my battery, though. I'm very, very low. Do I have PCC on me? I don't recall. I think I do. Might behoove me to put down a uh, generator somewhere. I, I, I mean, I know it's right there. I just don't want to turn around now. Don't want to lose my line. I don't want to be too far away from it anyway. Those are falling rocks. Holy crap, that's awesome! That's why the screen was shaking before. Whoa, cool. Of course. Of course we're getting into time fall zone. Uh, let's head up to the left here. That's way too steep for me to cross. Keep going, keep going. Oh, interesting. Cargo mass destroyed. It's funny, we spent most of the first part of the game walking, and then we got then we got our vehicles, and it was just like, I'm never walking again. And then we're back to walking. <laughs> it's so strange. I love this game, though. Are you happy? Is, was that a happy? It's alright, we already planned our attack, so we're good to go. We just gotta keep on moving. Keep on keeping on. Might as, might as well go ahead and use our battery now. In order to uh, trudge through this heavy snow, I help it go a little faster, get us a move on so we can head back to Hartman's lab and uh, see what he wants us to do. No, that wasn't bad at all. That actually worked out really nicely. That was a nice gingerly walk uh, across the mountains. Worked out really nice, yeah. Didn't have any BTs. We hit some time fall here, but uh, nothing too bad. Is this going to help me with... Oh, that refills my container. I didn't know that. Oh, and, we, and it fixed my oxygen mask. Alright. Slow down. Why should I slow down? Never slow down. Speed up. Always speed up. Hello, hard man. Oh, do you just want me to come back? He does. All right. There we go. <laughs> Why is the hardest thing to open that door? Oh, God. I fucking hate that thing. <laughs> Look at me. Thank you, Sam. In reclaiming our past, we've uncovered a number of vital clues. Yeah, just glad to help. I just got back. We have time. When you met with Mama... You experienced a strong antigen-antibody reaction, correct? 
There was a BT in the room. There was. But something else may have been causing it. Huh? I've discovered large quantities of chiral matter in mana as well. Not just the usual kind that collects on our skin or on our suits. It's in all her cells. Cells that are no longer active. The BT you encountered there was special. Yeah. It was her child, but also her own soul. Somehow, her car and her failed to separate. They must have remained connected through the umbilical cord. It's the only explanation. Is that why I didn't get a bruise where she touched me? Yes. And there's more. Ten seconds to cardiac arrest. I modified the log times. Headquarters will have no record of what we say. Look, a message from Dead Man. It came with the umbilical cord. Sam, uh, I'm sorry. You deserve to know what you were carrying. But I couldn't risk Di Hardman finding out about the case. So I had no choice but to keep it off the books. You've got to keep this between us. We still don't know if the director can be trusted. Huh. The umbilical cord was taken from Bridget Strand. I removed it in secret. Bridget? The Strand? cord wasn't attached to a fetus. It was outside her body. She asked me to take care of it. Said it was the key to unlocking the death stranding. What does that mean? But she insisted that I never tell the director. The court shows no sign of decomposition or necrotization. Almost as if it's frozen in time. I thought Hartman might be able to make sense of it. So I had it hidden with your cargo at Mountain North City. <laughs> Thanks, Hartman. Dead man's <laughs> observations were accurate. It's just like Mama's corpse. What do you mean? I mean, they share a very unique property. Both contain large amounts of Corellium in their cells. Right. In other words, the president's cord was somehow connected to the beach, and that allowed it to escape the flow of time. Right. I'm with I you. I put together the bones of a theory. It's patchy, but worth sharing, I think. Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions, great and small, including the Big Five. I'm still with you here. And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find Corellium deposits that can be dated to each. All right, what you lost if me. if the manifestation of, our, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction-level events? You mean? Yes. Our death stranding could just be the latest of many. The records and research you helped us to recover strongly suggest that we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Sixth extinction? Come on. You know what this is, yes? A frozen mammoth from 10,000 years ago. <laughs> Come on. This? Love you, Hartman. The Iceman from our five. 5,300 years ago. They both have the same umbilical cords. Doubt that, Ugh, but... Bullshit. Humor me. What if the mammoth and the iceman weren't frozen? You're saying time stopped for them just like it did for Mama? Hmm. Unfortunately, all these specimens were lost in the Death Stranding, so there's no way to examine the genuine articles. Right. But some fragments of data did survive. With the aid of the chiral network, we may be able to piece together something more concrete using Evodevo tech. All right, how's this? A dinosaur from 65 and a half million years ago. Umbilical cord, not decomposed. Uh -uh. Only mammals have umbilical cords. Uh -uh. No, only mammals have umbilical cords used for childbirth. 
this is something else. Call it a strand from the um, other side. I propose that mammalian and umbilisci are a sort of mimesis of the strand, that then evolved over time. We shouldn't assume that everything about a death stranding is detrimental to life. Trilobites, ammonites, dinosaurs, the mammoth, the iceman, all preserved as if frozen in time, all without exception, bound with strands, which is to say that all may have been connected to the beach. And this, when viewed in the context of the extinction entity, EE theory, leads me to surmise that organisms with strands are in fact extinction entities. You see, Sam, EEs are connected to the beach via their strands. Right. And it is through this connection that they somehow bring about a death stranding. So you're saying Bridget was an extinction entity? It's far too soon to say anything for certain. And since you burned her body, we may never know. Higgs said Amelie's an EE, and she doesn't have dooms like the rest of us. Sam, think. Assume that President Strand was an EE. Isn't it possible that her daughter is too? At the very least, Higgs may hope as much now that the President is unavailable. So he kidnaps her for E powers or whatever to cause a mass extinction. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps not. I doubt a single E is powerful enough to cause a death stranding. Assuming Amelie is an E. Well, Higgs sure thinks she's got what it takes. Indeed. And we need to get her back as soon as possible. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Ah. This one is real. Sam, go west. Very well, Sam. How do you want me to handle Die Hardman? With your customary reserve. Nothing good will come of him learning of our suspicions. Whatever else is True. going on, we still need the chiral network. Right. Thanks, Hartman. <laughs> Amelie. So, oh. It's time, Sam. When you're ready, proceed to the shore of the tar belt and begin work on the chiral relay. Once it's ready, use the Cupid to bring it online. The necessary materials are prepped for you. Supplies are limited, so handle them with care. You'll be carrying a lot, too. All things considered, this might be one of your hardest runs to date. Hartman knows more about the site than I do, so he'll take it from here. It's about time for his wake-up call, anyway. He just went down. Administering shock. Stand clear. I don't think that timing works out, but it's fine. Hello, Hartman. Right. About that way station. The site we have chosen was an original candidate for the way station we lost to the top belt. Right. Uh, ironically, we suspended construction because we deemed it a little too unstable and not worth the risk. But this time, it's our best shot. So let's right. make it worth right to change horses in midstream. Fortunately for us, the foundation we laid down is still intact. All you have to do is transport the necessary materials to the site and finish the job. All right. I'm afraid it's the only way we can expand the network further west and rescue Armory. It's it's fine. I get it. I, I, I get it. I get it done. And that's a long, long way. All right. Um. All right. Now we have a long, long hike ahead of us. We should actually probably plan out our strike place. I think going the way we came to get over here to this area is going to be good. Because then we can go around the rim. 
How high is that? That's not high at all. Yeah, but you just stay along the rim of this uh, mountainside over here. It's quite a bit longer than it might even need to be, but I think it's for the best that we do it this way. Uh, hopefully that's going to keep us out of the range of BTs as we keep going. Uh, there's nothing I can do about time falls, but staying along, hopefully staying along the ridge of the mountain will uh, keep us away from BTs. So we don't have to deal with them. Although if we do get into another battle like that, it'd be since we're since we have the carrier, it should be we should be a lot better off. Cause that's actually seemed to work in my advantage <coughs> when I had to fight those two giant ones. Kind of make our way up this mountain and then across it and then down it and then around the other side easy peasy right and hopefully don't run into higgs during all this oh those things are keeping me warm okay do i have I do have a PCC too. I just gotta be careful because those heating pads are gonna be using a lot of energy. All right, my bola gun's almost destroyed. I don't think we need it for anything in particular. We are gonna be we are gonna be running by that Evo Devo scientist. So if we do need some more supplies, we could stop there. Ooh, Cairo crystals. Really? So it so the timefall does affect the equipment that you're wearing. Interesting. I might actually want to create a couple of uh, skeletons and bring them with me. Oh yeah, having the heaters is way better. You gotta remember when I get out of the snow to take them off, cause... Because we won't need them once we're out of the snow. Well, I guess I don't need to take them off. Oxygen mass is damaged. All right. Nice and slow, nice and easy. There we go. Got it. We gotta wa watch out for the rocks. It doesn't look like they come down here. That's good to know. Oh, there's a... <laughs> Somebody put a uh, personal storage place, or uh, not storage place, but a uh, habitat, I guess. That scared me a little bit, not going to lie. But why are you showing up there, my friend? Oh, because of the hot spring? because of the post box. I've never gone into a hot spring, so. In real life or here. Did the presence of a nearby subterranean tarp deposit, the mineral rich sediment of the spring carries a harmless electrical charge capable of replenishing depleted batteries. Good to know. While it is commonly accepted that bathing here is a beneficial general health and recovery, visitors are encouraged to exercise caution when immersing batteries in water. That's fair. Cool. Yeah.
Neat. Alright. Now we're back on track. We're going to give the uh, tar pits here a nice, nice wide berth. Because they are loaded with BTs and giant BTs at that. So we don't want to have to deal with none of that stuff. Yeah, there's a repair shelter over there, even. Yeah, once we get down to about half, I think we'll uh, swap out. Because uh, one thing I did forget is a PCC. So switching back to the all-terrain, I think, will be beneficial in that regards. Yes, it is, Sam. Making our way downtown. Oh, this is on the Cairo network? That's interesting. Oh, this is off. I was on. That's fair. Yeah, so that's the bad thing. I won't be able to... Yeah, so that's the bad thing. I won't be able to make anything out here until I get there, so... I'm stuck with what I got. I should head down here, though. Oh, good. There's mules out here. I mean, that's okay. We were planning to head up here anyway. We weren't going to go cut across there. So, I should be able to... Ooh, I don't know. This is steep. Just take it nice and easy. Easy does it, Sammy. I know what you're thinking, we're heading back through snow, so we should have left our heat gear on, but that wastes batteries, and we're not going to be able to restore uh, uh, any power anytime soon. There's my next marker, it's down there. What do we got over here? Ceramics? Ceramics, damn, I'm always in need of ceramics too. It's a shame. I'm not actually going to be able to pick those up. Road and structure erosion. Structure and vicinity at Capital Knot City. What did I make near Capital Knot City? God, that was days ago. What's that? Should we just head straight down? I think so. Yeah, we'll be fine to head straight down. Is that the structure? That might be the structure. Yeah, because that looks like the tar. Actually, it looks like the ocean. Pretty straightforward. What's that over there? Chemicals. Is he happy? Yeah, I guess that's happy. Um, might as well stop, pick up some crypto bio. That's what they're called. Well, I mean, I guess that's the, that's the that's the question, though. Are we going to be? I mean, this place is going to be loaded with BTS, isn't it? I don't know. 
know if it's such a great place to set up a base here, boys. I don't know. It's going to depend on how... I don't know how they defend it, I guess. Do they have shields and stuff like that? I don't know. It's definitely going to be difficult for them. Sam, What's up, diehard man? Yeah, that is it. Whoa. We didn't even hit that much time fall either. Just up in the mountains where it was snowy. Why does this look so good? It's just mud and rocks. Looks amazing though. Oh, ladder. That's fair. Man, how are they gonna? That is, yeah, that is really close because that's all tar. I'm working on it. Good thing this thing's still working. Mission accomplished. With my Wolverine claws. <laughs> Alright, so when's Higgs gonna show up? I mean, he's gotta show up, right? Oh, that's way down there, like New Mexico area. Interesting. Cool. And with that, we're all linked up. Once you cross the tar belt, the end will be in sight. We're this close to Emily, to America's second chance. Edgenut City awaits. The staff we're sending will start by building a safe house. Over time, they'll expand their operations and establish a new facility. In doing so, they'll carry on the legacy of the brave souls lost to the tar. All thanks to you, Sam. Now, let's figure out how to get you across this tar belt. Um. Yeah, um. How are you. How, how am I. What? How am I supposed to get across here then? This one. And the terminals are locked. I mean, I can't swim it, right? Yeah. I mean, this is a bad idea, right? So... What am I supposed to do? I mean, it's usually pretty clear about what I need to do. I don't know. I don't even have a PCC, dude. I brought a whole bunch of guns and shit, man. I thought I was going to be going into a fight. Huh. There's a watchtower here. This might shed some light. Oh god, that thing scared the shit out of me.
I mean, do they want you to just walk it? Let's investigate the uh, beach line here. Something to do with that. So why else would everybody be building over there? Dredge stuff up from the tar. The tar is connected to the beach. BTs. Okay. Hello, sir. Easy does it, easy does it. I should just let him take me. I'll get rid of the BTs in this area. I think I'm just gonna try walking out there. Cause yeah, they they form this BT. They form this tar. I mean, honestly, I have no better ideas.
I really, really don't. Talk, yeah, they're talking about getting surrounded by tar and popping up in a different place. It's got to be this. It has to be this. I wanted to see how far I made it out. Nope, I just straight up died.